Hi there. This short video is just a brief example demonstrating the usefulness of the for each loop um, with array lists or when trying to traverse through array lists. So we're going to jump straight into the example here. The for each loop is an alternative to our traditional for loop where we would declare and initialize a counter, um, set a termination point for the counter and some progression for the counter. A for each loop can be really beneficial particularly when working with array lists or arrays of objects or just arrays in general. Um, particularly with regular arrays or arrays of objects, it prevents you from getting this array index out of bounds exception. So um, what I'm, I've done here is I've taken our assessment example that we've looked at in previous videos and I'm going to change the search function, which currently uses a for loop, a traditional for loop, and I'm going to replace it with a for each loop to show you how that might work. So what we've done here in the for loop is we've used i as an index to access the index of each of the spaces in the array list. And then doing that, we get the object from the array list and we pull out whatever information we want from that object. What the for each loop will do is we can instruct the loop to take an object from the array list, store it in a temporary object, and then to move through each space in the array list, doing that over and over and over again. So what we do is in our brackets here, instead of saying int i equals zero, i less than a list um, dot size, etc., we declare an instance of the object that we're using, so assessment x, and we use our colon a list. And what that tells Java to do is loop through a list, taking each object one at a time and storing it temporarily in x. And when we do that, then what we want to do, instead of getting the object, we've already gotten the object, so we don't need to do this step anymore. The object has already been pulled out of the array list into x. So we can simply say x.getType instead of having to say a list.getI.getType. Okay? So we're removing a little step for ourselves. Similarly, here in our JOption pane, we have to just replace a list.getI with x because the loop is going to do the hard work there and pull the object out for us. So all along here, we'll replace a list.getI with x. And again, it, this isn't something that you can just use with the search functionality. It's a perfectly useful loop, which you could employ in displaying your objects from your array, in looping through to delete a particular object, whatever you need. It's just a particularly useful loop which you may or may not have seen before. So that's it, all the changes have been made. All right, we're literally just declaring and create, well, declaring an instance of the object and giving it a name. So we're calling this one X, it doesn't have to be X. And the name of the array list with, through which we want to traverse. So let's try play that and just make sure it still works as it did before. So if we make an exam and it's summative, and worth 0.5 and we add the assessment and then we do a project which is also summative on 0.5 and then we do a quiz which is formative and not worth anything add assessment so if we display you'll see they've all gone into the array list so they're all in there and if we search by type and we choose summative we get exam summative and project summative and it pulls them straight back out as it did previously but just one small little change we're using a for each loop instead of our traditional for loop so it's called a for each loop but you don't actually use the word each okay but basically what we're telling it is for each object in a list do what's here in the loop so i hope that comes in handy for you again it can be used anywhere that you want to traverse an array and it just alleviates any difficulties you might tend to have with an array index out of bounds exception thank you for watching